don't know about you, but at some point in my life, I was the loudest person in class. Nalikwa na pigwa? Ha! See now they pay me to talk. <laughs> Good morning. How are you doing? At our 24 Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter, hashtag is Y in the morning. We are feeling so type of good sixth day of January. And I hear people are cutting off meat. Simini lete ni wasedia kukula. Ama mna cut off jo. Anyway, hashtag is Y in the morning. <laughs> We have been uh, talking about a lot of things, a lot of things, but right now we're going to focus on figuring out how to recover from 2020. But again, I tell you, our struggles are different, very different. I've seen new things coming up smack in the middle of the pandemic. So it's not like people are, some people are suffering, Ama they're suffering different. Really, I don't know. I, I had to judge Apoto, Sawa Kinyashinsky. Mm. Hashtag is worth more than a minute for Val or at Kalumi Val. But is important for you to meet my panelists. And they look sharp. Ooh. Good morning, guys. Good morning. How are you? You're fine. fine. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? I love Thank you. I'm going to end the interview immediately after this. They will hire her. Atakamu una papers. They will just hire because she looks so nice. <laughs> Please introduce yourself. My name is Priya Major, mm -hmm. a second year student at Karatina University, uh -huh. taking Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Where, 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 where? Yes. Now, when you want to go, <laughs> at a Bachelor of who? Science in Nursing. What does that mean? You're not really a nurse? What are you? You're a nurse? I'm a help. What I'm is a it? nurse at degree level. Uh -huh. Yes. Why? So, say, you're not going to strike? Hi, sir. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. You look very dapper. Thank you. What's your good name? Uh, my name is Dennis Njeroge mm -hmm. of Kamau. Mm -hmm. Call me Dennis Kamau. Mm -hmm. I take information science, specializing with media and publishing. Another science, but for information? Uh, yeah, information science, you know. What does that mean? Uh, Whatever we take in our course of information science, mm -hmm. the medium, it has different categories. Mm -hmm. I will take the instance of a prominent person in the news media section, mm -hmm. Willis Raburu, journalist turned into a musician. Mm -hmm. he, ta he did take information science. It has a lot of guys in the media sector. Mm -hmm. So whatever I'm doing, I'm doing writing, mm -hmm. from writing to presentation and everything. And mm -hmm. apart from that, I'm a creative also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're creative in a suit. Sazingine look in a matter. Sorry! <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's about first impressions. Yeah. Na na kwa na TV. How can we find you on your social media handles? You can get me on Instagram at prayer underscore major, on Facebook at prayer major, and also on Twitter at prayer major. Okay. I'm a bit confused. Number one, because your name is Prayer. Yes. So, Shino Meomba, just basically, you are just given. I love what you mean, major. Major two way to moja. Any relation? Like, are you as confused as me? There's Prayer, I love what Major two way to. Yes. Any relation to major? Are you family, friends, family in any way? Just for me. Where's not part of your social media? Uh, you can find me at Facebook, Njiroge Denis or Denis Kamau. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to get my food in the social media section mm -hmm. for officiality, you know. I want to be the next journalist in Kenya. We are sorry. We yeah, are so I'm sorry. coming to kill the space. Utakuwa <laughs> bazo. Unawana bili wili salianza kikawa miwa. Sai, he is bazo. <laughs> Undisputed bazo. Anyway, hashtag is one the morning. We are trying to figure out how to recover from 2020. First of all, what happened in 2020 now that we're recovering? I know people, a lot yeah. of people lost their jobs. I know schools closed. Ha, there's just, tell me, what do you think happened in 2020 that we should recover from? In 2020, basically everything was running well until March when the first case of COVID-19 was reported. Mm -hmm. And that is where things started becoming somehow not what we used to know because schools were closed. Mm -hmm. Even churches were closed, something we'd never thought of. And all the social gatherings were stopped mm -hmm. because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Mm -hmm. But then we'd, we'd, we'd never heard of it before. Mm -hmm. For me, I had only learned it in microbiology, mm -hmm. but I didn't imagine it would come and become a serious pandemic. Mm -hmm. So it came and disrupted everything. And everything kept, came to a standstill. Mm -hmm. People lost jobs. Schools were closed. So most students were just at home. And this resulted to a lot of teenage pregnancies. Yeah, mostly that is basically what happened. And there was also an issue of mental health 
where most people sank into depression. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. it was really a big blow. Mm -hmm. What do you think happened in 2020 that we should be recovering from? Well, 2020 started off like an uh, different, like almost let's say an year this of expectations. Hey, you know, yeah. had a men's conference. Yes, everything, everything was fine. even Valentine's. Mm. Uh, yeah. Did you go for it? I, I was hoping to be a secretary at the men's <laughs> conference. I'm an Ikwe Asha. Yeah. Uh, I guess Asha in So eh. yeah, so everything was going well and everywhere, but it came to the point where we saw it in China, and then we were like, ah, this thing can't come into Africa. And then it went Italy, cases were rising and everywhere. So when it came to Kenya, we had this kind of panic. People were going to the shops, buying everything they can tissue find. We took the Kaisha. Lopata, tissue, sanitizers, they were off. Mm -hmm. So while you were in the, sta in the same state, so people were fearing the closing of everything. So in that phase, we, fo we found that people thought it, it was going to stay like a month or so, mm -hmm. but it came to last, like nine months. Mm -hmm. And in this phase, you find that many people have been laid off from their works, their daily spending mandatory. Mm -hmm. So with that kind of, let's say shock, you're coming to realize that you need to find something to do. Mm -hmm. And when you look all around you, food, you just see negativity because mm -hmm. depression starts to kick in. And you find that now you're starting battling with mental health. Uh, there are a lot of people who are right now even who are expecting to go back to school mm -hmm. but they can't because of the situation back home. Mm -hmm. So this thing has really hit us economically, emotionally and mental, uh, mental wise. Mm -hmm. It's up to, um, we, we might say this, if we can find a good support system, it can really elevate us to go back mm -hmm. to the face it is. We were all rushing. Uh, like. COVID came and stopped everything at instance and made people to realize that unity is something key. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay. One of the things that I have witnessed, I witness, uh, is moving to the digital age, like literally. What's yeah. a year in Coach Majiambi, analog, had a digital. Mm -hmm. 2020 has literally made us do a lot of things virtually, things that we didn't think mm -hmm. that we could do. and. Yes, it's it's a step forward because I guess the first and second worlds are basically digital aged. But yeah. it, it's a bit unfair because it's not it's not across the whole, you know the whole country. Yeah. That means mtu mashinani mali haizi access. Maybe at a smartphone hana, ama laptop ama tab ata kupata cyber maybe at ngumu. So yeah. I feel like there has been an equal growth. There are some people who. And it's not our fault, Aki. <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> ah. But anyway, let's do this. Eh? Mm -hmm. Let's read your thoughts at Wi-Fi on Facebook, Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is why in the morning. We're trying to figure out how to recover from 2020. Eh, first, never talk about 2020 again. <laughs> Oy. I'm sorry, Bobo. I must have been difficult. Okay, here we go. We have Mwalimo Kyle says, Sylvester, hello. <laughs> clear's throat. <clears throat> the only thing one can do is to be organized and do what is expected and to always work on what he or she had promised him or herself. And then James, our star student, good morning. Devil of Mumbasha tuned in. We are together. I like it. Karibuni chai moto. You want to hear my stomach making noise? Don't do it. Chep Cock Felix says, Good morning, well represented at Jerusalem El Dart. And my James says, Once again, I don't have much expectations for 2021. With how bad 2020 was, it will take time to recover from this. Alas, I still keep some ray of hope that things get better for everyone. But, to me, I'm 2021. And, I'm spell you 2020. It is the year of Lestolation. Eh, you, do you know I have problem with R and L? <laughs> you on a trap. <laughs> Hilary Bias says, good morning, by accepting the fact that 2020 is gone, but still was, it was a great chance for us to learn survival means in Kenya. Mm. See you won't go. Bernice Nduati says, 21 massive tuned. Uh, well, we might be present out of <laughs> Tarago massive. <laughs> Uh, the star callback says, Badom nongelea 2020. Boy, okay, sorry. Uh, count 21 is here. Na ina itaji our attention ilembaya. Ama wakua tukwa kunembea 2021. I don't know. Nicholas Mbarikua says, Kujitumatu kivuva liani. 
kujipanga tu eh eh school of thought is the same you are the same whatsapp group mm. real chris calix by not talking about it <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lisa Steve says, please let's accept and move on. Kindly, let's just accept and move on. I like the way you think. Moex Green says, first rule of 2021, never talk about 2020. Where? Okay. Iman James, I think I will. 2021. To me. Hashtag when the morning, Miss Brenda. Hey, Miss Brenda. Saying, wah, ni kunoma, mtutuwa COVID-19 do azaliwe. Who? Actually, it has been nine months. Sayi kunda bad dose of joy. Bad dose. Bad dose, bad dose. Na sisa nye mna nibia. Do you imagine how that, don't we? Embarrassing me. Embarrassing me in the morning. Network subscriber. I will be with you kakaponiously later. But hashtag is why in the morning. Sasa hawa tuwa nisema ratu 2020. How do we help them? I thought the healing process is about talking, no? What do you think? Yeah, it's all about that, but yeah. I see people don't want to reflect on whatever happened in 2020. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you remember like some, like two days to the, to the end of the year, mm -hmm. there, was all meme, there were a lot of memes about you just waiting for 2021 to come, mm -hmm. to attend 2020. Mm -hmm. And then you saw that clip whereby it was saying, what if 2020, two, part two. So we find people don't want to... I don't want to watch that series. <laughs> people don't want that kind <laughs> of life. Mlinila Zimisha, you watch 2020. See, watch part two by the way. And subscribe. Hashtag, it's why the morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... I want to ask so many questions. I, I, I don't know what to do, but... How, how do you think that maybe we can help? I don't know if... I'm gathering thoughts. My thoughts are moving very fast, guys. I, I understand people have lost a lot, if, if not lives, you know, because people have died because of COVID-19. Tukiangalia tulikuwa tunasema, ah, ah, haizi wa mtu mwusi, ah, we are special. Oh, ho, 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 salam alaikum. Is this still a thing I'm going to do? Okay. So we've lost people, people have been affected. And at some point, quarantine in Kianza, I remember kulikuwa na asira mingi dunia. We, 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 sijui. Oh, domestic violence, kidokidogo sijui. Kai, kuna dema lichoma mtu wake. Ani kwa kwa gari, haka mchoma on his way to work. Woo! What kind of makasiriko is that? Where should we start? Should we, should we be giving out food? Or, or to change watu? Or should we just start with mental health? Like, to Lisa, bro, are you okay? What do you think we should do, guys? Personally, I think we should start with mental health. Mm -hmm. Because once the mind is okay and your thought is okay, then then will your body be okay? Mm -hmm. Because once the thought process is fine mm -hmm. and you start by accepting, it's okay, it was a bad day and a lot of things happened. But we cannot just discredit it. Mm -hmm. There are some good things that happened. Let us accept that it already happened and we need to now move on from that. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot solve a problem by running away from it. You only get to solve a problem by facing it head on and moving forward. Mm -hmm. So we need to, ac to accept that it happened and find possible means mm -hmm. of moving away from this and getting into 2021 more hopeful mm -hmm. and desiring that uh, other things will come, other mm -hmm. better things. That sounds nice, but what if kuna mchina mali anakula kitu wafai? Then you just give us another disease. <laughs> Guys, I normally come to celebrate December, but... We, Eat responsibly. Here we talk about driving responsibly. Please eat responsibly. Ooh, we are tired. How would you use, I'm going to use social media because that's your niche. How would you use social media to empower somebody? Or not even just empower, just to check on them. Because I am quite sure there have been a lot of people with suicidal thoughts. Yeah. Schools have been closed. Parents now start having to looking for start having to look for school fees from I don't know where. Meanwhile, anyway, how to help? So my thoughts will be this way. Mm -hmm. uh, you find people people need a, a place they can feel at as if, as if it's seven for them. So if they can find that you as a creative or you as a somebody in your own social media platform, you can produce some comical things, these people can be able to come to you and say, hey, hey bro, manze, Mimi, I'm not good, mm -hmm. but I love the way you're doing. You're making me to have a glimpse of hope. Mm -hmm. And if you're an inspiration person out there, just a quote, a quote of hope, 
can really help this person understand. I like that you said that, if I just may interrupt for a bit, but yeah. we are here having influencers talking about, oh, if 2020 didn't bring out the hustle in you, then there's something wrong with you. What do you even <laughs> mean? <laughs> Bro, waking up was achievement enough and facing the day. How dare you even just say things like that? So I get that, you know, mm. necessity is, is the mother of invention. Yeah. So when you don't have, you strive to get. Cindy, yeah. But what if just waking up was a hard thing? bro yeah relax couch just what if that was the most major thing someone did that day should we hold it against them uh we might say this as much we might try to hold against them mm -hmm. these people as influencers they need to understand that not everyone if is you like disagree them disagree with him you can or if you <laughs> agree with him you can also okay. yeah like not everyone mm -hmm. uh has the same accessibility accessibility that they have mm -hmm. So they need to understand that Nairobi is not Kenya in general. Most of them are in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. And the way they think that Nairobi, because of the all inclusivity, the accessibility and everything, that Kule mm Mashinani, -hmm. that person, at a part of the same accessibility, they don't understand that in the streets, at a Kule Ghetto, there are people who, Kazi Hautu wana toka tu, wana let me just go, nianza ni kuchana, because even when I feel na, na athlete, mm -hmm. their, their own misery out, outside. Mm -hmm. So we need to understand, whatever you put there, millions of people are watching, are looking. Okay, now oh, 2020 has brought me something, I nianza hustle big. Mm -hmm. And then here, yeah, kupale, I'm at Mufukuzo Kazi, I do place an anzi, I sort of back, you like, okay, I see that, Grace is all lack na grace in watu ingine. Mm -hmm. See watu ka sisi. What is my solution? See, that's my thoughts. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah. Don't talk to me. Say something. Okay, me, Miko Nastoji. I have a friend. Mm -hmm. Actually, a friend, a very, not, not really a close friend. Mm -hmm. But, kuna time, a period ya COVID, towards the end of last year. Mm -hmm. Ilifika WhatsApp mahali, then you know you have to be a cool you don't check on your friends so he updated on his about suicidal mm -hmm. and nobody had noticed mm -hmm. like a week down the line he was found dead <gasps> in his house mm -hmm. so there was a message this guy was trying to communicate to people because maybe he had something that was bothering him and nobody reached out and it was really a big blow to us as friends because we felt like we had somehow neglected him because it was our role to check up on him and see what could be wrong. Unona. So personally, I think people should be very keen. Be very keen on, on what people post on social media. Mm -hmm. Is it memes that, oh, what you are posting is not us. It is you. Because you just post what you think. Yeah. How is it to talk about Mahali uone ki, ki board ki meandiko Coca-Cola and you start to post on your status? No. Mm -hmm. You only post what you think. And okay, when I'm to post something consistently, suicidal, CG heartbroken, CG vitugani, reach out. Try to reach out on them and check if they are okay. It really helps. What happens to people who have been quarantined together? But you know, people handle stress differently. Mm -hmm. Maybe Mimi, I'll handle stress Niki Nyamaza. Like I, that is my just, in fact, I sleep. Miki, she's got stress. Hey! <laughs> I sleep mm -hmm. for a few hours, I reset my mind, <laughs> again, <laughs> until I wake up and I have rebooted properly, are we together? Mm -hmm. But what happens when maybe, let's, for example, you two, maybe you live together, you are even planning on starting a family, but COVID did something. It n not necessarily took away your job, but the people who uh, got pay cuts this year because yeah. of COVID-19, yeah. and you're already planning to start a family. Now, maybe hasira yako haitatoka venya hasira yake itatoka. If I may use you as, as an example. Yeah. So, utajam, utashita tu mekasirika, unashaw tutu kwa nyumba, oh, nani ya metumia supuri ya ugali? <laughs> Kupika chai. Na it's a whole thing and you'll be anno yeah. annoyed, annoyed. And not just that one time mm. and then go, baby, I'm sorry. It's a quite the next day, but it's a little bit. The same thing. You're <laughs> too. You're just angry. So mm. how do we help from where we are inside? Because your next option is to talk about when you come to the lockdown. I'm going to talk guardian planning. Mm -hmm. So what is, what is the solution? How do we help each other here? Wow. 
<laughs> it's quite tough, you must say that. <laughs> but my thoughts, these are my thoughts. In understanding yourself is the greatest thing that you can do to yourself. Getting to know your, what you have in you as a person. How do you get to know that? I want the yeah, ABC. The ABC into yeah. it. You find that as much as we are blaming everything that happened to 2020, mm -hmm. uh, people came to realize that I can do this. You know, at this phase, I remember there's this person who started Kuza Vitu kwa in estates. Mm -hmm. Nona, out of nowhere, mtu ranza kufanya hivyo. Kuna tuwa umepata a possibility of doing something they never thought of doing mm -hmm. because of these hurdles, which, okay, we are, you're blaming everything that it happened, it happened, 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 happened. But sometimes you, you never know which kind of strength you have mm -hmm. as a person. So with this kind of strength that you have as a person can really project you to your next big thing. Mm -hmm. Don't take anything in life as uh, whatever hurdles comes. You know, human beings love comfortability. Mm -hmm. We love so much that. Sad that when ukiletoa kashida flani, umanza kupanic all of a sudden. But there's adaptability that you can have as a person to achieve whatever you want to achieve That's later. That's a nice speech. Am I going to tell my landlord adaptability? Ah. Landlords, you adapt. Ata <laughs> upate hassle. Ustegeme to rent. Is that what you want me to tell my landlord? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Actually, I'm <laughs> speaking to that person who might, right now, mm -hmm. in their lowest point. Adaptability can really set you out far. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you're when you're on rent issues, I learned something about mind map. Mm -hmm. you know, in your mind map, look for a solution. It's either first thing, unangalenga, if you know Kenyans are, are willing to give and assist people, mm -hmm. uh, if my friends on a Nyokolea this time, whatever to to me kulipa my fee, ama mm -hmm. uh, clear my loan, ama mm -hmm. my um, what do you call it was the fees house areas house areas for now. Mm -hmm. So if I do that and it goes well. What is the next time mm -hmm. I project myself to another level, non necessarily back pale, or many say, I'm let me go back home, call my parents, I think of something else and then I come. Either come back. I like to think I'm a very flexible person. Not just physically, yes, I'm very flexible, but in my thought process, you know. Mm. So that means I have a goal and I work towards it. But because life is life and it's never a straight line, <laughs> guys. It's never like this. So I, I like to imagine that I am very adaptable. But there are things I will not compromise. So yeah. what happens now? Kwanza last year, Pia Mili Pewa slap, Kienda Kuisha. I was so confused. I had planned and planned and planned and planned and then <laughs> hoo, hoo, hoo. And guys, I was I was just out. Like life had just slapped me. I didn't quite make a change. Like, okay. I've been slapped. Now what? Mm -hmm. How do you help someone who's very rigid, very set in their ways? Mm -hmm. What would you tell someone like that? Personally, I think the, the greatest thing that one needs to do right now is to just take time and think, mm -hmm. what do you want? Mm -hmm. Where are you right now? And what do you want to achieve? Because you can be so rigid. For example, let's say you have been laid off your, from your job. Mm -hmm. You used to do a white collar job. Right. And you're at home right now, mm -hmm. waking up, and say you're the breadwinner of the family. Mm -hmm. The kids are looking up to you. Your wife is looking up to you. They're expecting something to eat. Mm -hmm. And there you are, just sitting down. Because you're like, oh, Mimi says, if I just need to be there to the, at the office. You're taking applications. on They are not hiring anymore because mm -hmm. of the effects of the pandemic. So is rigidity, is, is rigidity the best thing you can do? Mm -hmm. You need to be flexible. Mm -hmm. If there is something else you can you can find and do, mm -hmm. go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. If it's going to bring you income and it's going to benefit you in the most efficient way, you just go for it. I have a message from a fan. Good morning. How are you? Hashtag by the morning. We have good morning, white five four. I have a degree and I don't know how to look. Woo! when you are leaving, you are surely going to graduate. Okay. I don't know how. I don't know how to look for a job since I've been spoon fed my whole life. Hmm. Hmm. How do I start? What do I do, Irene? Okay. So, so what Tom said yet. Professor, you want to take this one? I'm not watching prayer mombe. How do we assist? The question is hard. Uh, <laughs> 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 I 
Yeah, that's what's happening right here. I'm, mm -hmm. I might say this one. Mm -hmm. I understand that now you are at your lowest limit. I will tell you of this. At during 2020, mm -hmm. that phase, I was back in school, right? And I was expecting to do something creative with my YouTube channel and everything. So, and then all of a sudden everything came to a standstill. So I didn't have to do anything. So what projected me, uh, what projected me to the next level was the thinking. I saw, I cannot stay here in all this creativity and I can do something. I'm also a graphic designer. Mm -hmm. So uh, in the process of doing that, mm -hmm. an idea came, what of starting a business? Not that I have, a, I have any amount of money in my account or anything, but mm -hmm. because I saw this, is, this can be one of ways which can help me instead of me going there mm -hmm. and pick a tarmac for those period of, of time before I'm part of my first job, this can be my launching pad. I won't struggle. Get mm -hmm. everything has its own sets and balance. Mm -hmm. Actually, in the place huko, 10 bob, 15 bob, 20 bob, you know, because idea, kuliko kamahali utakatu ewe, doing nothing, mm -hmm. you watch TV, of which it's not bad, mm -hmm. but actually, go out there, opportunities are out there, because I was in my lowest point in life, mm -hmm. but the moment I had to take a different perspective, that's when I saw opportunities, and I'm thankful to Honorable Malcolm Nyango, mm -hmm. he has a group of 80,000 WhatsApp, where he shares mm -hmm. the forgotten bottom millionaires, millionaires, he calls them that. Mm -hmm. He shares the opportunities from internationally. It's not local here in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Your WhatsApp group is in my yard. <laughs> I feel like my heart needs to fly out soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just, I'm tired. Just to add on what you Yes, please. please. Mm -hmm. I believe it's, it's not just good to sit down and wait for the degree you've earned to to get employment, you can find something you love doing and make money out of it. For example, I love designing, so I do graphic mm, design. Like, oh. So when I don't, when I'm not in hospital, when I'm not doing nothing, I do design mm -hmm. and I get paid for doing what I love. Wow. I love writing. Mm -hmm. So when I write, I get paid. Mm -hmm. So don't just sit down and like waiting for your degree to employ you. It's very good and it's very relevant. but find something else mm -hmm. apart from just that. I want to talk about people who have had to leave Nairobi because mm -hmm. Nairobi on a just Why? It is not it is not our home. <laughs> <laughs> it is not our home. It is not. Mm -hmm. And often the pressures or how I hear it or if I was to compare with the places that I've been, Uko mm -hmm. others is the lifestyle is a bit more expensive. Yeah. So there, are peop there have been people who have been forced to go back to some other land. Yeah. But there's shame in it, you know. Yeah. for a reason. Mm -hmm. It's not your fault. You did not do anything wrong. It's mm -hmm. just that life decided, that's it. But there's still shame. Yeah. So how do, we, how do we make that better? Mm. Uh, I remember this time, mm -hmm. of, I, we were talking with friends. It's better to interact with a lot of individuals, whether they're in the same class or not. So these people, we were talking, the worst thing that can happen, okay, in Nairobi, we were talking in all these places in the reserve, and then we were Nairobi. So we were talking about Nairobi, we were talking Narudi, with the little a thousand mob, na by Vito, Narudi now. So they say, hey, our boy is doing well, our girl is doing well. Our juvenile is going to struggle, our juvenile is going to And then our party is going back. Because okay, that's a shame. Mm -hmm. It's truly a shameful thing. Because they expect people from Nairobi have money. So even those people in the reserve, mm -hmm. they say, they think that, mm -hmm. that people on a shanga, what on a lalanja aje? Because najo kwa kwa shamba. If they need something, or kukule, or jui uku, what what helps us is money. Money is dishing out and everything, and outside they're not trying to push with life. So uh, sometimes you need to understand that whatever perspective that you have doesn't apply to all. Mm -hmm. It's totally different. Ukiona mtu ametoka from Nairobi ya mekuja reserve, don't ask why. Ask, kwa tu willing, come close, mkwa mabishi na ye. Usi anzu, kwa the first person to judge. Judging ndo inafanya most people wanaona, this world is 
it's messed up. What's the best option? Such a mini if anything that can is is in my life, which is death. If mm. not so, what's a mini habit on your street street touching? Mm. Yeah. Just care actually in a while. Mm. Hey, Rusongo, guys. Yes, Rusongo is on set. <laughs> Hashtag is why in the morning. How would you handle that situation? In fact, possibly they were expecting that this would be the end. Mm. And then all those savings, as and as parent, food, or transport, or So by the end of the day, you who are so prepared, it's time to do something. How would you, how would you talk to someone like that? Because shame is a, it's a bad thing, guy, mm. guy, guy. And sometimes we're ashamed of things that we didn't do. It was not your fault. It mm. was not you, I, but you're there feeling shame. Mm. So how, how would we make, soothe the pain a little bit? Mm -hmm. Okay, for me, I think shame is something you can't avoid. If it has come, you just need to find a way of dealing with it. Because... You can't go all through your life feeling shame. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, it's not going to help you in any way. In any way. Because it will not even... It's, it's painful, it's embarrassing. But it's not going to bring results. So you need to feel shame when it's appropriate and then stop and start thinking mm -hmm. on how are you going to get yourself up from this shame. Mm -hmm. If it is getting another job, how are you going to do it? If it is finding another source of income, if it is getting your family back together, if it is pulling things back straight into the line in as much as everything may look crooked, that is what you need to do at the moment mm -hmm. because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a believer of hope and mm -hmm. I don't lose hope. Mm -hmm. I don't. In Why? as much as things may... Why are you so solid? <laughs> Why? Why are you so unshakable? That is me. I don't lose hope. Mm -hmm. Things may come and become so bad to the extent that it looks like it's going to kill me. Mm -hmm. But I believe what does not kill you makes you stronger. Mm. So in as much as I'll be feeling shame, embarrassed, I'll find a way of getting out of it. Since you want to cool a heartbreak for five hours, I call my song and belly. Sidio, Kwani. Hey! You can't live there and keep on crying. See, life must go on. <laughs> Whatever you're having inside you may rub off me. Kablo talk he said. Kuli kwa na swali ngine. Akin li kwa ni me ni me what ni me oleka kamu iste oh sign me fukuzwa kwe yo nyumba na bitu zangu kuzwa. Okay. How do I move on? Because ni sipokuwa kwa relationship mimi I can't settle. Eh eh. Daisy in gezo. I put talk to her. Prayer. Just talk to her. I think what aku solve ya mesh daza kuzwa. Tell her something prayer. Mm. How do we help her? Alikuwa mm -hmm. meoleka kama stay, mm -hmm. kafukuzwa, mm -hmm. na vitu zake zikauzwa. Na ajui ku move on. Mm -hmm. But I think shida sana sana ni because it's nispokuwa kwa relationship mimi I can't settle. Mm -hmm. Do you have a long time guys? Like do you spend time with just yourself? I mean it's just me. Do you spend time with <laughs> yeah. yourself? Yes. Yeah. Do you spend time with yourself please? Mm -hmm. Like love yourself first. True. Be intentional with yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ask me. Ask me. Yeah. 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 Create a space in yourself, penye inafika, such that when somebody comes into your life, you don't cling to them. If they come, they find you strong, such that if they go, you're still there strong. Not because they came to compliment something, not, not really compliment, not to support something in you, but because they found you a complete person. Mm -hmm. When you are complete, it is very hard for somebody to destroy you. But imagine, we will go half, then he's the other half. I love kidogo kidogo, the other half goes and everything crumbles down and you become frustrated. Yeah. You need first of all to work on yourself. Work on yourself, Daisy. It's possible, trust me. Daisy, you need to Are you okay? Are you okay, mama? Are you okay? What would you... Like, you want to go to the hospital? No. How are you happy? It depends on the way you carry yourself. Mm -hmm. The first perspective matters, you know. 
uh, the impression matters kicho kwanza so kuna venye mimi nikiona if you i can najua this that balancing act mm -hmm. if i can be able to judge you and see that i can be able to play you nitakudamp if i feel ah we are not bo what any matter because ana ka ana depend so i will tell daisy this way relationship is not your starting point of life relationship is not your kicking point yeah everything to solution no that is the same perspective our parents had mostly no but uh, i was doing some kind of research let me say that mm -hmm. and i found that not because most of this our parents relationship ama our show relationship mm -hmm. it was at uh, the perspective ya kuwa everything is well mm -hmm. uh, uh, people are really hurting mm -hmm. but if you are in the 21st century you have the you have everything that you need kwa na digital media kwa na everything that you can really launch yourself ukiangalia Elsa Majimbo at this time mm -hmm. ndo alij launch hey. naona relationship si ati itakupatia itakuwa the only thing itakuwa na kufeed your meal mm -hmm. a uh, ukijijenga uko the person mwenye unataka kuwa when you pray amesema hakuna kitu na kublock on you true mm -hmm. ukipata tu hadu unapita ukiona umo na umea na kuja hivi and your guts inasema pana no matter because relationship si si ati itakuwa hivyo mm -hmm. as much as tumefukuzwa na everything just mean to say my recollect yourself go to your friend munyaneza ku host for a while mm -hmm. try to find something that can help you out what if the situation was a bit reversed what if to say hypothetically days into a life kuzana mwanaume akauzio vitu zake zikauzo zote ah you know the, the fact me open uh, let me say with the agenda ivo to you know kwanga to little bit you know do una semanga it's much quicker for a man to make friends in then akitoka to hapa longer. longer yeah mm. ata ni tseme i'm um, dating let's say i'm dating prayer tseme and then siko hapo mhm mm i'm calling mwana na muombe eh deno deni sai ko hapa mko na deni sapo atasema the first thing yeah tuko na deni sapo no because of the support so the support who work oleana you support though <laughs> <laughs> you support <laughs> ni kichwa maana mhm mm mimi nitasema tu hivyo if uh nikifukuzo tu sai sai hey, in this minute the first thing is my friend eh hey, arif manzi nimefukuzo kule siko ataka ku make sure na you won't say that me chicken out because of the shame and everything ni mm. tunasema eh hey, mbona tu ni mwache nyumba mbona <laughs> mwache <laughs> <laughs> nyumba acha mimi nianze a new, a new life let me just come here and stay at a life <laughs> Hata uh, siko napenda sasa yeye umelia yeah. don't leave me don't don't go Woo. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay yeah. all right but in in retrospect again mm. 2020 had good things and it had not so good things mm. but all these people wame wamemoka e 2020 kina flako Why? kina aziad mm. kina maj a hey, senje hadi ame meet no mikampo Woo! it's goals <laughs> it's absolute goals oh my gosh yeah. how how should we make them feel bad just because we're no more ah. like why should why should why should we troll them for their success ah ah singomo najua ni kitu iko in kenyans uh, kot our, our yeah. twitter platforms the Drawing streets of twitter eh. it can be massacred it can mm. be massacred uh, we find that we are so much triggered with the political system and everything in it because they influence whatever happens mm -hmm. everything so economical wise if the political system may influence in a bad way mm -hmm. see so what it's not quite grieved it's with a lot of hunger mm -hmm. and uh, angerness so kiona bishtako ameomoka already ame make anajulikana ame kwa celeb sayo ume umeambiwa job imesha eh mm -hmm. uko like how umsi acha si video zake si kali video zake atikeshi siji mbona wasio nampenda the first time alianza kutenda ziad niliona mm. comment ya dem dem mm. dem dem ati ah mbona ana ume mnatafuta dem anaweza songesha kiuno atakupitia na hiyo ugali na hiyo kiuno i'm like bro you don't even know if she can cook first of all ugali imetoka wapi yeah. what if she does not eat ugali <laughs> what if like ni, yeah. Can she just shine like ali swing to kidogo mm. na ameomoka why does that have to be now a problem sasa <laughs> tawewe utafute kitu kitu ya kufanya na ni doctor ah ah don't be angry can we all omoka together please yeah. just we need to stop taking each other down so understand my dem we need to stop that 
We really do. We really, really do. Okay. In yeah. conclusion, what would you like to tell the audience? <laughs> okay. In conclusion, I just want to tell you that the fact that COVID-19 me to strike last year, I manage it's the end of life. I manage that say you lost your job or anything you should give up, never lose hope. For example, a child, not really a child, a teenage girl, gets pregnant. Don't drop out of school. I have done a book, I've written a book, it's called Positive Living. And in that book, we are a powerhouse. Uh -huh. In that book, I have shared the story of a close friend. Mm -hmm. She's called Stacy Bed. Mm -hmm. She got pregnant at 19. Then, you know, with pregnancy, it comes. Was like It's so bad. Okay. Oh, no, no. She was getting stigmatized from friends, family, and everything. And to make it worse, she was a pastor's kid. Mm. So it made things a little bit worse. Mm -hmm. But at the end of it all. Ali deliver. She finished her education at Kamaliza campus. Mm -hmm. She has done her masters. Hey. Right now she's doing her PhD. Hey. I'm telling you she's a powerhouse. You should meet her. So like the fact that you've still gotten pregnant, it doesn't mean that you have to drop out of school. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're still going to make it. Your future is still bright. Don't give up. My last remark is that you should not lose hope. Don't lose hope. Yes. I, I'm so sorry. It's the memes coming. The <laughs> memes are here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Talk to us. <laughs> In conclusion. <laughs> uh, these are my words. I'll say, life has a tricky base to play its cards. Mm -hmm. So you may find it right now that life has really stricken you over. But I'll say this: Don't lose hope. Just as the prayers say, don't lose hope. 2020 happened, everything happened, you saw whatever was happening, you saw everything laying itself from the teenage pregnancies to people being laid off, people going back home and everything. But I'll say this, you never know what opportunity lies out there. So just take yourself, recollect yourself, have a good support system and start your life well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't think I can take away or add on uh, that. Uh, could I send some greetings? Yeah. I forgot to mm. say. Yeah. So I would like to say uh, some few greetings to my co-founder at Mavex Digital Solution, mm -hmm. uh, branding institution. Don't company. be afraid to look them in the eye. Oh yeah. Ah, okay. So I would like mm -hmm. to say uh, hi to Kevin. I would like to say hi to my parents, and I would like to say hi to Beatrice, my neighbor at home, mm -hmm. and hi to everyone out there. Mm. Uh -huh. I need to know most of my neighbors. I should change. Change, actually. But uh, I, I like my day, my own business. But I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the house. I'm not sure if I'm free. Oh, chana maji ya tau. So, sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. I hope we have helped at least in some way. I know. Mm. We can't make everything right. Personally, I'm sure COVID-20, COVID-2020. <laughs> I'm sure COVID-19, thanks. It may to affect PSCC Park concert. It's not that we're all sunshine and flowers, but I really, really hope that you take away what prayer said, like just have hope, just have hope. Mm. Hey, Sanjay, I think I'll just be calling you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me that hope, give me, give me. Did you quit, I hope? Is it hope your middle name? No. After it, I'm struggle hope. I've got to. Anyway, at White Five on Facebook, White Five channel on Twitter, hashtag is what in the morning. We have come to the end of the show. However, presenters ni wengi. Wengi sana. And that means, do you know what that means? In fact, just usuzime TV, just let it be on why, okay? Because we have source, all kinds of source, all kinds of presenters, all kinds of shows, entertainment, edutainment, liambia kuna edutainment. We have sports, like basically, we got you. 2021 to Naribu is us, is together, is we, is Pamoja. Yeah, hashtag why in the morning. My name is Val or at color me. That has been my pleasure and my joy to be with you this morning. Sim kwana skupwana niaki. This is where we wave, wave, wave. Oh, bye.